All right, so we got another video for you today of the React variety, and we are gonna be building a search component. So obviously a search component, something uh, you'll probably be using in almost any application you're building. So hopefully this is quite useful. Um, and what we're gonna be using to build this component is a package called, what is it called? Uh, Downshift, and that is by the infamous uh, or famous or whatever you want to call him, Ken C. Dodds. Um, if you don't know about him, I'd uh, suggest checking him out. Um, gives a lot of great uh, information and um, uh, some cool open source packages and everything. So I would recommend that for sure. So let's get into this here. So I just have a create react app, a pretty blank app here. I haven't really done anything. And then I have installed a couple of packages. So one of which is the downshift package here. So go ahead and do that. We're gonna be using that for our search component. And then just for some styling, I did download, or I uh, installed the ant design package just to make it look not quite as crappy as it otherwise would. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do this, we're gonna be using an API uh, JSON placeholder you might've seen before in other tutorials and stuff. Uh, I've seen a lot of people using it in the past um, and it just gives us an API where we can bring in either some posts or some users or just basically some dummy data. Um, but that's kind of enough preamble, I think. Let's get into the coding itself. So we're gonna bring in a couple things here. Um, let's go here. And we will actually first, we gotta bring in a couple things just to react. So let's come over here and we're gonna be bringing in use effect as well as use state. Kind of typical stuff we'd probably use in most of our applications. And then from that, and we are gonna bring in one package from downshift here. So let's go import and that's gonna be called use, what is it? Combo box, combo, is it two? Yeah, this looks weird when you write two Bs like that. Um, combo box, and that is from downshift. Great, so that is there, we gotta use state, and uh, the last thing actually we wanna bring in here is just the component from the ant design, which is gonna be our input, and that's the only thing we're gonna bring in from there, so that's from, a N T D boom. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's come down a little bit and let's start coding up our app. So let's get our state set up. So let's go const and we're gonna go input items and we're gonna go set input items. Great, and that is gonna equal use state. And we're gonna set that just to an empty array because we're gonna be uh, passing in an array after. Below this, we're gonna go const and we're gonna have a, a bunch of users and we're gonna go set users. And that again is gonna be the same thing. Uh, use state and we are again gonna pass in another empty array. And then lastly, we wanna go const and we're gonna go single user, because we're gonna, when we click on uh, one of the users from the list, we'll pass a single user on to display. Um, and we're gonna go set a single user, and that is gonna be equal to use state again. And that we're just gonna have um, an empty set of quotes there. All right, so that's great. Um, what else, what else? come down here a little bit, give us give ourselves just a tiny bit of room. And actually let's, we have this running here, but give ourselves a bit more space here and we actually don't even need that. So hopefully that is a little more visible now. And what are we gonna use here? We're gonna be using our use effect here. So let's go use effect. I have a snippets library here. Uh, we can actually just get rid of all this though. And we're just gonna run it uh, with an empty set of brackets, which means it will just run one time on load. So the initial load will do this. And we're just gonna be using the fetch API, which is just the built-in um, 
JavaScript API. We don't need Axios or anything. So let's go and we'll go uh, fetch and we are gonna pass in, I'm just gonna copy this over. This is the URL that we are gonna use. So it's JSON placeholder.typeycode.com slash users. And we can make this a sync or we'll go, let's use the dot then and we'll pass in a response. And from there, we'll go response.json and make sure we have brackets after that. And then we're gonna have another dot then and we are gonna pat, uh, get the data from that. And from there, we're gonna go set users and we're gonna set the users to the data we're fetching. Okay, and I think that's it. Let's save it, it should reformat for us nicely. And it does, so that's good. Um, the only thing is it deleted our, it deleted our combo box and stuff there. Uh, I'm just gonna copy this over and then save it. Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. So hopefully this is fetching. And if we wanted to try this out, why not? We can go console.log and we can console.log users. And then if we save that, hopefully this should work for us. So let's come over and check this out. Hit inspect and computer's moving a little slow, but that's all right. And come over to our console and reload. And we have an empty array first. And when we load, now we have all of these users here. And we're just gonna get their names so you can see the different, um, maybe I'll bump this up a little bit. Um, you can see here, we got a few different things in here. So we got the address, company, email, name, and we're just gonna list out their names. So that seems to be working good. Let's come back over to here and we can remove this console.log. And now, what do we wanna do? I guess we're going to start with some of the downshift uh, stuff we want to do. So we're going to bring in a few things from this downshift, but uh, my computer just auto deletes stuff I'm not using. So let's uh, use this combo box here. So let's come down here below the use effect and we will do all of our downshift work. So we're going to const and open up some brackets and we're going to bring in a few things here. So we're going to bring in is open. That's good. We're gonna bring in get uh, menu props. Great. We're gonna get input props. What else? Uh, get combo box. Uh, is that right? Combo box is lowercase again. Uh, combo box props. Good. Uh, we're gonna go highlighted. Hi lighted uh, index and we are gonna go get item props and what else what else that is it I guess and from there we are going to go so we're destructuring all those off there and then from there we're gonna go that is equal to use a combo box that we brought in before and that'll open up uh, an array here and inside here, we are gonna go items. So these are the items. And we're gonna go, uh, what is it? Input items, which we set our state before. And below that, we're gonna go on uh, input value change. And that is going to be what? And we're gonna get the input value, value from there, great. And we're gonna go arrow function, open up some brackets again, and we're gonna go set input items. And here's where we're gonna filter through our users. So we do that by going users.filter. And for each one of those users, we're just gonna call them an item for here because that's what we used. But they're each user, each item. We're gonna go item.name dot uh, two lowercase is the function. 
lowercase and call that dot starts with, and then we're gonna pass in input value dot to lower case. I'm gonna call that. So let's go ahead and save this and reformat it here. And let's kind of go over what we're doing here. So we're destructuring all these props in, which we're gonna be using. Uh, we're not using yet, but, and we're gonna um, open up some brackets, brackets after this use combo box. And we're taking our items, which we're setting to our input items, which we have set here. And we, on, on the value change, so when there's an update to the input, we are gonna set the input items by users, or set our class of users that we're bringing in here. Remember, we're setting our users here, so in, we're gonna have this data. So it starts with the input. So it starts with the input dot value, or input value dot two lowercase. Okay, so that's a little confusing there, but hopefully it makes more sense uh, when we kind of go ahead here. So let's come down here and let's get into this return statement here. So we have a return statement. Let's give us, uh, we'll go in H2 here and we're gonna go current user. And that is gonna be equal to a single, uh, what is it? Yeah, single user, right? Yeah. And then below that, we're gonna have a div and inside of this, we're gonna pass in a few things. So we're gonna go and spread in get uh, combo box props, which we're gonna call, great. And then inside of this div here, we're gonna have our input. And this is where we have, um, this is the ant design input. So we have our input, and we have a few things in this input. So again, we're gonna spread in, get input props, put props, and again, call that. And then what else are we gonna have? We're gonna have a placeholder, and that'll be equal to, to search for now. And then we're gonna have an enter button. Cool, and that's gonna be equal to search. And what else, what else? We'll go size and that is gonna be equal to large. And this is just ant design stuff. So nothing um, too reacty about that. All right, let's come up a little bit here uh, and single user, make sure we close off that bracket right there. Okay, now, now we wanna go and we want, this is where we're gonna actually show uh, the search values that come back. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention earlier here is we have our files. I added a little bit of CSS uh, just for our styles, but that'll be in the description if you want to look at that code. So you can copy that if you want. Do we not have a single user? Oh, single, uh, single user. That's correct, I think, right? Single user, yeah. Okay, so this is single user, not uh, just user. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and we want to show the actual search results. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna open up an unordered list here, and in here we're gonna pass in, uh, we're gonna spread in rather, get the menu props, again calling that, and then in here, we want to show if it is open, so we're gonna go is open, and like that, and we're gonna pass in what? We're gonna go input items dot map. So we're mapping in over all our input items and we are gonna get the item and the index. Actually, I don't know if we need the index for here, but we're getting it anyways. And we're gonna open up some brackets here and we will go and we're just gonna do, what are we gonna do? We'll do a span tag and inside that span tag, we're gonna have a key because otherwise React will yell at us. And that is gonna be equal to item.id. Cool, and what else do we need? We need to pass in again, spread in the props here and those props are get item, 
props and we're going to pass in inside of that. Uh, what are we passing in? Oh, we're going to pass in that item and the index. Cool. And what else? And then we're just going to have also our on click handler here. So on click, and that is going to be equal to make sure you can see this here on click and that is going to be what on click and we're going to have a function here open that up and we're going to set our single user so we want to be able to display whichever user we choose so let's do that by going set single user and we will set that to item dot name okay sounds good so far Got our span and then inside this, give us a little more room to work here. And we're gonna have our LI. So we got our LI tag and that is gonna have what that is gonna be. We're gonna have H4 in here and that'll be item.name. If I can spell. And then this li right here, we're gonna pass in just a little bit of styling. So let's go style, and we're gonna go highlighted index, and that's why we need the index actually, that's true. And that is equal to index. So we're gonna do a ternary here. So if that's equal to index, we're gonna go background, and that is going to equal whatever we set. So we just have EDE, that's what we're gonna be using, but you can set it obviously to whatever color you like. And if not, we're just gonna have an empty array here. So we'll have no styling basically, if this is not correct. And obviously spell background with the D. Okay, so that is looking good. And I think that might be everything. Okay, so. A little complex, I guess, but hopefully that made some sense. And let's go actually check, see if anything worked at all here. So it looks like we have enter button. That seems like we did something wrong there, but let's try and test this out. So you see we have all of these. Let's bump this up a little bit actually, a little too much. Okay, so we have all these search things here. So say we wanna search for one of these names here. We come in and we can go say Irvin, it comes up right away as you type. Comes back, all our things, we have Curtis here, boom. We can click on Curtis and we have the current user, which is Curtis, and that is all good. So I think that is pretty useful. Anyways, nice little uh, search component. So I think that's pretty good for kind of any uh, application you're gonna need. You're gonna need a search component, so Hopefully this helps you in some way. I would suggest checking out the downshift docs as they are well written. Um, but unless there is anything else, no, I guess that's good. All right, so I guess that'll do it for this video. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up or possibly even subscribe. And uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.